What's happening, everybody? My name is Anthony Dorr. I'm a novelist. My most recent book was called All the Light We Cannot See. So I thought I'd give you a little sneak preview of my next project. It's called Cloud Cuckoo Land. Cloud Cuckoo Land was a phrase originated by the Greek playwright Aristophanes 2,400 years ago, and it means a utopia in the sky. As you might remember, all the light started with my fascination with radio, how this new technology using invisible light that could pass through walls and carry the voices of strangers into people's homes, into their kitchens and living rooms, how that new technology really changed power dynamics in the 20th century and allowed for the rise of the Third Reich. This new novel starts with a passion even deeper than my passion for radio, for a technology that's even older than radio. And that technology is the book. The Codex really is an incredible human technology, if you think about it. It's an extremely efficient way to transmit information over space and time. And most amazingly, it can preserve the voices of those who are long gone from the earth. When my mom first read us The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis, I was blown away and I asked, uh, my brothers and I asked her, how did they make this? She said, it was just one person who invented all this and now he's dead. Which really opened up my mind that these little black marks on a white page could outlive a person's death and still sing, that his voice could still come to life. So in Cloud Cuckoo Land, I really wanted to capture that magic. So I invent an old manuscript, and I invent five humans who care for this manuscript through its history. The writer Leila Saad has asked us to ask ourselves, am I being a good ancestor? I think that's a good way to think about how to live a meaningful life. In Cloud Cuckoo Land, I tried to tell the story of stewards, people who care deeply about something and how their actions reverberated through the generations after them.